Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. I'm here with a dream. This dream made me, like, I, I, I'll try not to go over it, but um, I'm going to go ahead and release it. Because it's kind of, um, it, it's, it's, it's got me a little emotional. And I had this dream months ago, y'all. Like, a while ago. But anyways, um, in this dream, I'm at my mom's house. And I am with my son, James. I noticed that the rooms have been changed around. And I noticed that James has, my son has a room. And then there's the other room is for two little girls. But, you know, I, I don't have the knowing of the little girls exactly. But I just know these two little girls were there. And then um, the house had pictures of baby angels all over. And then I saw a little glass vase or um, jar of vase where it said in memory of. Okay. And my mom is getting ready to go on a trip. Like she's leaving. She's going on a vacation and I'm sad because I can't go. Um, and James can't go. And she's only taking the two little girls. And, um, once she leaves, um, I go back and I, you know, see my son is in his room and the empty room where the girls were and then I go to my room and I am very sad and I cry okay the scripture comes from Joshua 19 and 10 the third light came up for Zebulun according to its clans the boundary of their inheritance went as far as Sarid going west it ran to Marala such Dabashif and extended to the ravine near Jokim, Jokanim. It turned east from Sarid toward the sunrise to the territory of Kislav Tabor and went on to Dabaraf and up to Jabia. Then it continued eastward to Gath Heifer and Eth Kazin. It came out at Remen and turned toward Nia. There the boundary went around on the north to Hanathon and ended at the valley of Ipata El. Included were Kata, Nahalal, Shimron, Adala, Beth Thalim. There were twelve towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the Zubalun according to his clans. God said he has an inheritance for you. I, I feel like God said he has an inheritance for you. And um for somebody I'm about to get your inheritance. Somebody finna receive their inheritance. And it's not a situation where it's gonna be a good like it's not gonna make it's not a situation where it's like bittersweet. God says it's bittersweet, but you're gonna receive your like you about to receive the inheritance they got like the sun literally just came out y'all. Somebody you about to receive your inheritance is gonna be bittersweet, and it is not. It, it may hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be bittersweet. It's gonna be bittersweet. But you are gonna receive your inheritance, the inheritance that God promised you. But like you know, it's a bittersweet situation. message that's the message god said it's a bittersweet situation it's it's a bittersweet situation god sent me to a, another scripture ecclesiastics 12 and 13 now all has been heard here's the conclusion of the matter Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all mankind. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. God said, like, um, 
Yeah. God said just do good. That's all you have to do is do good. Do right by him. Be obedient to what he tell you to do. If God tell you that it's time for you to stay somewhere, stay there. If it's time for you to go, go. If it's time for you to this, that, like, whatever it is, follow God's commandments. And God said you're going to be good. But, um, you know, for whoever this is for, you're going to receive your inheritance. And it's bittersweet. And, you know, um, it could even be a situation where, you know, a lot of times we think about when we hear the promises that God has for us, we don't realize that it's not always going to come to us the way that we expect it to. And I feel like that's another thing about this message. Like sometimes we be rushing it and rushing it and rushing it. And we don't realize like not only once you have it, you have it. But if it's a situation like this. Once your parents gone, they gone. Ain't they ain't coming back. And you know, um, that's how I felt. You know, even I had this dream months ago, y'all. And I felt like I just had it all over again. And I could feel the emotions that I felt and how sad I was. The heartache. And I just feel like God said, you have to, you know, cherish your parents while you have them. No matter what they do, you know, because nobody is perfect. You know, ain't nobody perfect in this world. Nobody is perfect. And Lord, like this dream got me stuck in my heart because I don't know what I'm doing. As much as me and that lady, I love that man. Oh, no, oh okay. I would. I would. I would. I said, like, oh. cherish your parents. For one, cherish your parents. For two, um, who is is deep, man? Cherish your parents. Focus on him, and do what he asks you to, and everything is gonna work out the way it's supposed to and understand that even though you may feel like your journey is hard and it's hard and it's hard understand that sometimes what God is promising you you don't want it to you don't want to rush it you don't want to rush it and you don't want to try to you know what I'm saying and see I feel like for some for some of y'all you got to understand that it's going to happen when it happens it's gonna happen when it, it's gonna happen when God say you don't want to rush that though. You don't want to rush that. It's like sometimes, and I know that it, it's like I know for some of y'all you could be like, well, we you could just get your own house. Like if you don't have the means, you know what I'm saying. And God has promised you something. You have to understand there there are other ways that God is going to bless you with things. But sometimes it takes long a time for it to happen because, like, come on now. Because a situation like this, baby, I'd rather my mama is, you know, I don't weld into her hundreds and like, you know what I'm saying. I'd rather stay with her. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, like, I would rather remain living with my mother than for her not to be here. And I'm serious. I, like, seriously. I don't care about none of the rules. Like, I would rather stay living in my mama's house with my mama than for her not to be here. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I'd rather have her than the house. I'd rather have her than the house. I do. (sighs) 
she's more valuable to me than that house is. And I feel like God says sometimes you don't need to stop rushing everything. Stop rushing. Slow down. Well, you slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Everything that you feel like you can't accomplish, you can still, you can accomplish like everything that you want to accomplish, that you feel like you want to do, that you feel like I just feel like you can do it. But stop rushing. Stop, 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 stop. Stop rushing it. Don't rush it. Stop rushing it. Don't rush it because you don't know what God's verdict would be in order for you to have this thing and for you to be able to maintain it and for everything to be everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what, like, and God said, sometimes it's not really even what you want. You don't want that. Sometimes you may not even want that. But that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to us.